Let's go down to Tasmania now, where the Liberals are set to form government again after last night's state election. But the question will be who lets them do it. No party won the required 18 seats to win outright. Labor's conceded today it doesn't have enough seats to cobble together minority government. So Premier Jeremy Rockliffe will have to work with independents and the Jackie Lambie network to form government, which is kind of funny because Rockliffe's justification for calling an early election was, he, was that his government had been tipped into minority. Now, Joe, you know, you can splice <laughs> these things any way you like. Oh, it's good for Albo, it's good for Dan, no, no, whatever. No, no, now, no, look, no. Um, obviously you had a, a fairly large drop in the, the Liberal primary yep. vote in Tasmania. The Labor primary vote has barely moved, mm -hmm. so you can't yep. say it was a win for them either. Um, the Greens didn't do too badly. Is there anything that we can really take out of this that gives us an indication of where things are yep, at? Yep, Tasmanian Labor is a basket case and it needs to be completely wiped out and back to the drawing board and start again. I'm sure Sam would agree with me, but the left has been in charge of Tasmania for far too long. They can't even keep control of themselves. They had the head of the Tasmanian union movement advocating for a vote for an independent, i.e. the former Axe leader who got <laughs> done for weird stuff that he was then exonerated for not breaching party rules, but he didn't behave appropriately. And so he went out. And so the union, the union movement has gone in against the Labor Party, which is take you out the back and shoot you. It's a violation of party rules. It should be automatic expulsion for a start. Um, so it's a complete and utter basket case. It's what now three on the trot that they've tried to win. Yep. You, have to, you have to wonder what the Libs have to do to lose. I mean, they're losing <laughs> their own MPs mm. and Labor still can't take anything off them. So um, I think the take-home message, whether or not Jeremy Rockliffe... I mean, I, I suppose if Labor can't form government and has admitted it as such that it can't form government, obviously we know that, that by default the Liberals will yep. form government. If if the party is so useless as to as to be able to hand the Liberals, a, you know, a losing Liberal Party victory by virtue of the fact that it managed to lose even worse, what do you do? Someone needs to go in there and someone needs to take a broom to the whole joint and they need to put in decent people who are more interested in advancing the party's electoral fortunes than they are in just serving their own micro-factional loyalties. Well, I think since 2014, as of last night, uh, Labor's improved its primary vote by about 1% in Tasmania. I mean, you know, you look across the rest of the country and perhaps we'll have a different result in Queensland come later in the year. But, you know... It's but that'll be on the end of a now long-term... Correct, correct. Yeah. But, you know, it's a pretty good sea of red across the country, but they cannot turn Tasmania. Yeah, look, I don't have a huge amount to add to Joe's uh, withering critique. The only thing that I would say that I do think Albo um, should should like about their response is there is technically a path or a potential path, technical path, to government, but they've said, no, they're not going to get into bed with the, with the Greens. Yeah. Both parties said this preceding the election. They've come out and said, no, no, what we said we mean, we're not going to get into bed with the Greens. Now, Albo should take some, some heart in that. Mm. I think that's sending a very clear message to the community ahead of this year, next year's federal election, where everyone is talking about, oh, maybe Labor's going to enter a minority parliament uh, federally, that he's, you know, Albo will say, I hope, yeah. going into it, no, absolutely, yeah. it's, you know, my way or the highway. <laughs> We've been yeah, to see... Really, when, when really, because the shut. crumb of Australia has taken this stance, you think that they're thinking no, this said, in no, Canberra, he's, or he's, should? He said this before the last election. Election, yeah. And I think he absolutely. And he's breaking countless promises since no, then. Not but okay. Time. No, no nonsense. I think the Labor Party saw absolutely during the times of of Julia Gillard what happens when we get into bed with the Greens, and it sent yeah. a chilling effect throughout the entire Labor Party around the country. This is the first time it's been tested. Now, sure, it's in Tasmania, but it's a test. Mm. It's the first time. And to to um, the leader's credit, down there, she stood up and said, "No, yeah. I'm not indulging in it." That may well be the case, but do you seriously believe that, given the opportunity to form no government, the Albanese would turn up that opportunity and basically say to the coalition, "Here it is for you," because no. they said that they wouldn't form? If a minority it came right. to the crunch, if it came to either getting in bed with the Greens or simply handing over government to the coalition. We all know what Albanese would do. This man is completely convictionless, okay. as far as I'm concerned. And if that's bond. what it... My word is my bond, <laughs> as he likes to say. Um, if that's what it came to, he would roll over. There is no, but there, 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 roll this over. is what's so insane about 2010, though. He doesn't have to. There is no scenario in which that could possibly happen. Because We're the talking Greens, about a hypothetical. 
No, but even in the hypothetical, it couldn't possibly happen. If a coalition has a majority, that's it. It goes out the window. The only way it would work is if the Greens are holding the balance of power and you say to the, and you say to the Greens, no, nah, you can, you know, you, you can, so if you want to support us in government or whatever, that's fine, but we are making absolutely no concessions whatsoever, no deals, no signed coalition agreements, no, no concessions. I wasn't the one whatsoever. who asked the question, Joe. No, no. Are you lecturing me on this? No, no, but, <laughs> but, no but this is why, in 2010, you just say, no. Nah, if you, we're not making a deal with you. If you want to take it to the house, and if you want to, if you want to, if you want to move motion of no confidence, or if you want to go and form government with the coalition, if yep. you want to lend your vote to the coalition, go off you go. And that's and it'll be the end of the party. Absolutely, what Albanese should do. That's if right, he and that's what he and that's what he will do because every single election, a green tries to take his bloody job in his own seat, and he doesn't like it very much. Well, no, and, and I mean, it was probably only because of his personal popularity that that hasn't already happened in Grainler, to be perfectly honest. But it's interesting, though, Evelyn, you look at uh, last night, you have this result in uh, in Tasmania, it looks like the Libs are going to return. Um, meanwhile, down in South Australia, they had a by-election in the seat of Dunstan, which was the, the former seat of uh, the former Premier Stephen Marshall, and it looks like the Liberal Premier, I should say, and that seat's going to turn over to... Labor. So you've got mm. one story going on down in uh, in Tasmania and another going on in South Australia. Um, you know, if if you uh, are able to lose a seat that the former Premier held mm. and handed over to Labor, and we know it happened to John Howard when he was PM in, mm. in 2007, but you know, it's uh, it's a hell of a loss. I think at the moment both major parties, I think Liberal and Labor, are being rejected, I think, by the Australian people. I think that's the messaging that is coming across here. And I think the parties are obviously not listening to your everyday Aussies. Like, there's, there's something missing here because you've got states that are flipping, you've got states that look like there's a hung parliament. Like, clearly the politicians are not listening to their electors or the voters. Um, and I think that the sad reality of that is that for the next three to four years, not much is going to get done. And at the moment, we desperately need a lot to get done in this country. Cost of living, jobs, the way that we move forward with energy. There's so much that has to be done because Aussies are struggling and because we have these tit-for-tat governments and the major parties are being rejected, there's the fear of the Greens taking more power and their policies because people are just so wrapped up in this. You've got to save the planet. They don't actually read how dangerous these Greens policies are. I think... At the end of the day, we all lose, <laughs> well, whether that, it's whichever major party take, in the state. Take this how you will. In that Dunstan by-election last night in South Australia, the Greens pulled 22.5% of the primary <laughs> vote. Be Ooh. scared, people. And <laughs> Bant is crowing. Oh, my God. Oh, his oh. Twitter is just like, it's stop. Just, I can't. It's, it's scary.